What's up everyone? Today I'm going to do a review of the iPod Mini. I'm going to start off with the background on the iPod Mini. So the iPod Mini is the second line of iPod Apple make after their original iPod line, which we call the iPod Classic now. However, the iPod Mini was only sold for a year and a half before Apple discontinued it. Apple introduced the iPod Mini in February of 2004, and they made a second generation in February of 2005, which is the one I have here. In September of 2005, Apple discontinued the iPod Mini and replaced it with the iPod Nano. The iPod Mini is pretty basic. On the front, there is a display and a click wheel. On the bottom, there is a 30-pin dock. There is nothing on the side. And on the top, there is a hole switch, a headphone jack, and an accessory port. The iPod Mini is big and thick when compared to an iPod Nano or iPod Shuffle. Here it is compared to a second generation iPod Nano. As you can see here, the iPod Nano is smaller and the iPod Nano is a lot thinner than the iPod Mini. The iPod Mini does have a monochrome display. However, there is a backlight so you can see the display at night. However, the display is still not as nice as a LCD display. Here it is compared to a display on the iPod Nano second generation. Another thing that's better about the iPod Nano is the iPod Nano uses flash storage, while the iPod Mini uses a micro drive, which is a mini hard drive. The main feature of the iPod Mini is obviously music, just like most older iPod. However, you do have a few extra features. You have an alarm clock, so you can set an alarm. You do have contact, but you need to sync that from the computer. You also have a calendar that you can view. You also have notes but that has to be synced from the computer. And you also have a few games, just the basic game from older iPods. So the iPod mini is very outdated. It's 13 years old after all, and you can't do much with it today beside music. In my opinion, this iPod is only worth getting if you're a collector or you just want a cheap iPod to play with. If you're going to get an iPod just for music, you're better off getting an iPod Classic which can store much more stuff, or an iPod Nano which is thinner and lighter. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy my content, go ahead and subscribe to me. I would really appreciate it, and I'll see you all next time.